Louisiana Beer Review Smirnoff Ice Smash Red, White, and Berry 8%. And the flavors are blue raspberry, cherry, and citrus. All right. I found this at one store around here. Uh, well, 35 miles from here. Um, at Circle K Shell Gas Station on U.S. Highway 51. Business route southbound southbound in Hammond, Louisiana. I uh, checked all kind of other stores. No one had it. It says premium malt beverage with natural flavors and certified colors. So the flavors are natural. Not that there's an actual blue raspberry in the world, but uh, anyway, in certified colors. That means food color and certified by the U.S. government to be safe for human consumption. Twenty-three point five ounce can. The disclosure here in small print, flavored with all caps, flavored malt liquor. I checked the Smirnoff label. I didn't see this listed. Of course, that was about a week ago when I checked, and it says certified kosher. So it's certified kosher, and it's strong, and it's from Illinois, from the Smirnoff. Brewery in was it Plainfield, Illinois, which is like west southwest of Chicago. So basically, it's a beer-based product designed to taste like an icy, <laughs> one of those slushy drinks you get at the convenience store, also. It's got alcohol legs on it, like a uh, liquor. And it's clear, bubbly, cobalt blue, I guess. Same color as the icy, or the slushy, depending on which brand the store sells. You can get the uh, frozen icy sticks, you know, the, um, whatever brand those are, there's different ones, and they, they have this flavor, or these flavors. Okay, so that'll be interesting. A combo, a, tr a trifecta this time, not a duo. Three. Blue raspberry, cherry, and citrus, which could be any kind of citrus, I guess. They're showing a lemon. They don't claim it's lemon, though. Which is telling me they're not using lemon as the natural flavoring. It's so generalized in the nose, though. It just smells like juice aroma <laughs> some kind of berries and fruits the taste oh what about pale malt yeah you can kind of tell it's pale barley malt and probably high fructose corn syrup don't know I think at the ice cream on the ice cream truck, they sell something called a bomb pop. It's like red, white, and blue, something like Might be something like this. You get the tart, citrus, you get cherry, you get blue raspberry. Well, I mean, it's it's a melange of flavors. You can't really pick them out, I guess. It's in your mind, so because you, you read the label and you're thinking it. High, medium body, not heavy like I thought it would be. It's icy. I had it in the freezer for nearly an hour. Didn't freeze. <laughs> um, it does have some kind of weird, I guess it's not weird these days, so many products have it, but that high fructose corn syrup drying, sticky drawings thing. It's very sweet. This thing is sweet. Is that what they're using, high fructose corn syrup? It's probable, but could I be misreading it and could they be using cane sugar? I mean, they could be using beet sugar. I don't know. They don't say. They don't have to say. According to U.S. law, and if it was in Canada or the European Union, it'd be a different story. Um, well, it tastes like the same old thing, meaning these flavored, what people call alco pops. prickly carbonation on the tongue, but not overly carbonated. 
know how to foam, no lacing. I never drink these things. Now you might be watching and say, no, except for all the numerous and seemingly endless video reviews for these things. Yeah, but beyond that, I don't drink them. I don't ever go to the store and say, oh, I'm going to get a Smirnoff Ice Smash. I think I'm going to drink that today. No. And I'm not trying to use the video reviews as an underhanded way of drinking it. I'm just saying I don't on the regular drink these. Um, does it taste bad? No, it doesn't taste bad. And those Freezy Pops don't taste bad. And the slushies or the Icies don't taste bad. I just don't drink them. Like my father would say, he, he, he'll say, uh, these are beers for people that don't, wanna, don't, don't like the taste of beer. And that's probably what they are. Is this a ready to drink RTD canned cocktail? Um, guess is bomb pop a type of cocktail? Um, I think it's more like an FM FMB flavored malt beverage. But the line between those two is like An invisible pretend line you know what I'm saying it's not a real line it's so much crossover I wouldn't I wouldn't I don't think too many people differentiate that. now if it was like a vodka based there is a, a red white and berry vodka from the same company and there is a Smirnoff ice 5% the regular flavored beer you can find that pretty much everywhere. I've seen 12 packs coming in left and right. You guys, I saw, I saw somebody buying multiple 12 packs of it. And one guy's, I want cans, cans. I heard him telling a store manager, I want the cans. He was saying, well, we're out of those. But I noticed that store got them in again. But um, it's wildly popular, the red, white, and berry. I guess for Memorial Day and Independence Day, people say, I got to have my red, white, and berry. But it's the 5%, you know, the popular one. These, the 8%, the super strong is rare. The smash version, version. rare here. Considered I found it in one place. $2.99 a can, $1.50 for a 12 ounce or less than 12. Is that a good deal? You know it's not a good deal, but I figured I'd pay for it to do the video. Check it out. Is it different than I thought it was going to be? No, it's exactly, it's exactly like I thought it was going to be. It tastes exactly like those kind of drinks I described. So if that, is it expertly made? Yes. Can you score it low? I mean, I guess you could, but with integrity, could you score low within the style? No. Within the style, it's perfect. And flavored beer, flavored malt liquor. Um, therefore, give it a 95. I'm going to go with 94. I think I feel better with 94. Like that sticky sweetness it could be the high fructose. Maybe shaves a point off. But still 94. Most excellent in the style. Um, now you might say, what about beer overall? Uh, how can you say it? It's almost impossible to say. There's so many styles of beer. I mean, for beer overall, it's very high. Because beer overall can mean just about anything. I think I'd rather drink Lagunitas IPA. But anyway, it's, it's a ridiculous comment to make because it's not what we're addressing right now. It's kind of a, it's a bad, actually a bad comment to make. So anyway, laissez les bon temps relay, a blue beer from Illinois. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Plainfield, Illinois and try at least to take a tour of that production facility.